Jeff sent in this email asking, saw the show with the large mess MAME archive download. I downloaded it. Now what? What software should I use? Do I need to unzip all the secondary zip files within the 44 gig zip file? Could you refer me to a tutorial on how to make these? Or maybe you could do a simple walkthrough. Jeff from Wisconsin. Certainly, Jeff. Of course, I'm going to need some help. So here to give us a step-by-step -step on your MAME conundrum is our producer, Roger Chang. Welcome back to the, uh, the front of the camera, the desk area. Thank you. The desk zone. So what's the first step in helping out Jeff today? Well, first, for anyone who's not familiar, someone uploaded almost the entirety MAME ROM collection up mm -hmm. on archive.org. So if you oh, go to, cool. to archive.org, you can actually search for MESS and MAME. And if you look down here, they include all the MAME ROMs in one giant 42 gig, 43 gig file mm -hmm. that you can either download uh, as a single file or you can download individual ROMs within it. Uh, I bit torn it, it took me about a day. You know, that's funny. I, I use archive.org for media stuff, but I never think of it as an actual file repository site as well. It's, uh, it's interesting because I've, I've done a lot of stuff where I've posted podcasts yeah, that no one's too. ever going to listen to. But uh, it's great that, that, you know, I'm still wondering, I'm still a little skeptical on how legit this is, but mm -hmm. it's there and people have downloaded it, so I'm not going to complain. So now that they have all the ROMs there, do you need an em emulator in order to run them? Yes. So one of the most more popular ones, of course, is MAME, and that's the one everyone uh, knows. Now, for a while there, for Windows users, there was something called MAME32, and that was essentially a GUI interface in front of MAME. That project has since died, and it's been replaced by MAME UI mm -hmm. at MAMEUI.info. The site's not that pretty. It's kind of confusing. All you need to know is you need to download this file right here, uh, the MAME UI 64. Uh, for 149 because that's the uh, the set of ROMs that we have right now. Now I'm over here in the main UI 64 folder. And what I simply did was that huge zip archive. I unzipped into this ROM folder, and as you can see, I left them in their zip format. You actually don't want to uh, unzip them. Okay. You want to leave them as a zip since pretty much every emulator will be expecting the the .dot zip format, mm -hmm. and you just unzip into it. Now, once you go back, you go back into the application, in this case, the uh, MAME UI64. Not much to look at. You go into Options, and you go into uh, def Directories. And this is where you can kind of point to where the ROM folders or the ROM folder is at if you did not put it into the root of the folder of MAME UI64. Uh, once you do that, I go to File. I go to Audit All Games. And this will actually go through and checks to see if all the ROMs and their zip folders have the associated files that it needs to run the game. Mm -hmm. And so once that's done, it gives you a check on what, which ones you have that run and which ones you don't. So as you can see, red ones are ones I don't have, and the green ones are the ones I do have. So here, let's do a simple one. Let's do 1943. Uh, once you run, double click, click type OK. Or if you have a joystick like I do, I have an Xbox 360 controller. I just go left, right, starts it. And then I basically need to put in five for quarters. <laughs> That's awesome. I hit one. As you can hear, the little tiny speaker. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Of course, this is the Japanese version. So uh, warning to anyone who's playing. Uh, there are di many different variations, international, Japanese, European. And so I can start playing this game, as you can see like I would if the arcade was a little laptop in front of me with really tiny speakers and a 360 controller. <laughs> now, Go ahead. Now, uh, of course, you know, for a lot of people, uh, me might be a little too big and they're focusing on a particular set of games. Mm -hmm. uh, there are actually two other emulators I recommend. Now, one is called uh, Quax, 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 and this is literally designed to emulate uh, all. Um, games that are fighting in nature, so basically Neo Geo games, old Capcom Street Fighter 2 games. So you wouldn't use this with the same same downloads that you pulled off. You of. can't. You no, can't. You, you, these still... are these all work with the same ROMs. Okay. These are essentially different emulators, and Quax uh, is designed specifically to work with, I think, the System 16 board. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, although it's not as compatible with a wide variety of ROMs, it focuses them onto Neo Geo and uh, Capcom games. Now, for a lot of people, uh, they've moved on to what's called Final Burn Alpha. Final Burn Alpha, once you select a game, you can actually filter by specific hardware. You can go by all the Capcom machines. You can go by IRAM, Konami, Neo Geo, Pac-Man, uh, Sega, Taito, 
bunch of others. Uh, they all work the same. Uh, five is quarters, one is first player. Uh, they will work with controllers. With Final Burn and Quacks, you actually have to map the controller out initially. Oh, okay. So it's very simple. You just go to the menu and can select which buttons do what mm -hmm. functions on the game. They also allow a, a, a low level form of network play. So two people could be on the same network and play against each other on the same, uh, on two different PCs. Um, overall, it's actually really, really cool. Um, other than the enormous download, once you get it on, it's pretty easy to set, set up. Yeah, and then you just kind of choose the emulator that you like best to yeah, work with. Yeah, and uh, you know, for the most part, supposedly you need the ROMs, or you actually need to own the arcade game. So actually, own the arcade game before you play the ROMs. <laughs> but I haven't had any issues. Any final tips or? Uh, yes. One final thing to note is that the ROMs need to be compatible with the version of the emulator that you're running. So if you have an older emulator. Like, uh, like something that was designed for 138 ROMs, it will not run the 149 ROMs. You have to wait for someone to update it. Because okay. there are a bunch of dependencies mm -hmm. and there are a bunch of libraries that expects to see in each ROM file. And if they're not there, it's just going to yell at you and say, I can't run it. Yeah, exception, exception. So that, and you know, as long as you have at least a Core 2 Duo and a nice setup, you can actually, uh, uh, actually build your own controller if you're super into video gaming. Uh, since all the game controls are actually mapped to a keyboard, mm -hmm. you just need to map that out to uh, some sort of uh, keyboard or uh, joystick interface. Uh, most popular solution is to break apart one of these, a, a wired 360 controller, yank that all out, and then solder on. Uh, new points and new controllers into a larger uh, stick. Now, are there emulators available for OS X as well? Yes, there is uh, MAME OS X. Unfortunately, only works with 139 ROMs and not 149, so it goes back to what I just said. Right. Will not work with not the uh, ROM archives until someone updates it, so hopefully by the end of the year. Uh, there is a MAME command line version, the raw version of it, without the GUI interface that does work, but you will do a lot of typing in order to get a a game up and running. Gotcha. Thanks so much for being on the show, Raj. Sure. All right, we've got more Texel still to come, but before we do that, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Do you want to improve your brain performance and live a better life? Sounds a little intimidating, right? But any brain can get better, and Lumosity makes it easy with fun games based on neuroscience. Lumosity is like a personal trainer for your brain that lets you build your own customized training program to enhance your memory and attention. Plus, get detailed training summaries and stats to keep track of your progress and see where you need to improve. Over 40 million users have already experienced Lumosity's breakthrough brain training, so what are you waiting for? It's free to sign up, so there's no reason not to try it out. Start training with Lumosity right now and discover what your brain can do. Check out www.lumosity.com slash to get instant access and help support our show.